Okay, so here we are going into virtual space, and here I want to show you a little application where we've got a car, engine. You can be any size, any place, at any time. There is no limit to what we can do. Hello everyone, welcome back to VR News, where we look into what the future holds for the community and the world. Before we start, I just wanted to talk about my last video that I made on Facebook Horizon. It's almost at 600 views, currently it has 561, and you guys are killing it. It's a small channel, and I didn't expect such outcomes with my videos. Anyway, let's get back into this week's VR news. If you have Oculus Quest, you should have received their new virtual environment called Cyber City. The place has animated elements and looks like something straight out of the Oasis. It's a sixth environment that you can download to your Quest and I think it looks phenomenal in terms of what you can expect and what you actually get from the Quest. Nobody really expected this. It looks nice, it looks great, and uh, hope you Quest users have a lot of fun with it. And now Far Cry, yes, Far Cry. A game that I did not expect to hear in the VR community. Just like the new Hitman, Far Cry will be joining the race with VR support for next year at apparently VR arcades. Although I won't be able to download it, I still think it's nice that companies are starting to realize that VR isn't going anywhere. And these VR headsets that we use right now will be something that will be in our daily lives that we use. Ubisoft is also rumored to come out with VR support for Assassin's Creed, Escape Rooms, and even Prince of Persia VR. So this is great to hear that companies are putting their money towards the VR development and games like this will be great. Games like Far Cry that has had this long franchise of all these different games that they've made, the first, the second, the third, and they just keep on coming and VR support is gonna be great for this game. I can't wait for Hitman, of course, because Hitman will also be an amazing VR game that you can actually download and buy. And I think more companies are actually starting to realize how big this is. On the side of VR arcades, I haven't really went to a VR arcade yet. I hope I will someday, somewhere soon. I don't know how it really work nor have i even tried a vr headset in an arcade i don't know how they would work with far cry and whatnot i don't know what systems they will use for arcades with all this COVID stuff that's happening better clean it really nice or they will be in trouble all right and now some news regarding oculus and facebook logins if you have oculus and have made an account you probably received an email i won't go through the whole email but i will read some of the key points we're reaching out to let you know about upcoming changes to the Oculus platform. On October 11, 2020, we are updating the Oculus terms and service and privacy policy to reflect that Facebook Inc. will become responsible for the Oculus platform and your Oculus information. And to provide more detail about how your information is collected, used, and shared, on that day, you will have the choice to continue using your existing Oculus account and remain under the updated Oculus terms and service and privacy policy, or to use a Facebook account on the platform and agree to new terms. We provide you with additional information about certain Oculus features and the information we collect to power them. For example, we explain how we collect information about your physical features and dimensions, such as your estimated hand size when you enable hand tracking. We also explain how we receive information about your Oculus browser usage, such as the Oculus browser features you use in crash reporting data. <laughs> so what they're saying is people were right on the internet. People were right that they're going to be looking at everything about you. Once eye tracking comes along to Oculus, they will look at everything. They will look at how to promote things and ads and such like that. Facebook is on the horizon, pun intended, and they will be tracking everything you do. Physical features and dimensions and hand size, like I think that's crazy. They make it seem like it's a normal thing that they will be tracking all that stuff, but I would probably switch it to a new headset because that doesn't seem really cool to me. HP Reverb is coming out soon, so looking forward to that instead of this. All right, now for some good news. If you own a PSVR, you should probably check out the PlayStation Store. There's currently a big sale going on and I think you can cop some nice games. These discounts aren't there for long. They expired this month on the 24th of September. These are some games that I think is worth looking at right now. Arizona Sunshine now costs $10 from $40. Creed Rise for Glory $749 from $30. Rodan now costs $10 USD from $40. Sprint Vector $749 from $30, which I play a lot. The Mage's Tail $989 from $30. Gorn $15 from $20. Pixel Rip $1995 now costs $15 from $20. Marvel's Iron Man VR now costs $30 from $40. The Walking Dead saints and sinners now cost 30 from 40 tilt brush 15 from 20 and there's a lot a lot more like moss 15 dollars from 30 we don't even get these type of discounts on pc 
PC. So you guys should check it out. If you have PSVR, cop some games if you can. Tell me in the comments if you guys bought some games. And if you did, which ones? Tell me in the comments below. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy this week's VR news, please be sure to smack that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you all next week. Peace out. That when you experience it, it's something that, uh, you know, people come out the systems like, wow, that's unreal.